My annual review and goal setting process has quickly become the most valuable thing I do every year. In this video, I'll show you the process I've honed over the past few years to help me plan the year effectively. It's my guide to implementing systems thinking to planning your year with actionable steps that actually mean you get there. Whether you use a Notion life management system like mine or not, all wrapped up in a quick tour of my new Notion goal setting template, I'm using to do it, which you can even download for yourself via the links below for a limited time. It's free. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simon and on Better Creating, I'm collecting great ideas and tools to help us lead more productive and creative lives. Now, as a freelancer, I have done a ton of research into different approaches to yearly goal setting over the years, and I'm now convinced that there is a best practice process that we should all be following. First of all, you've got to review. You've got to learn from the last year to define what matters to you in the next one that's coming up. Number two is visualize. So set ambitious but attainable goals with milestones that help you reach them. And number three, action. You've got to reverse engineer essentially the actions you'll need to take into a system that helps you achieve them. For me, it's my Notion productivity system where I'm linking those milestones and goals to projects and regular practices that will help me get there. Now I've updated my goal setting page this year to improve it as I learned quite a lot through the year about what was working and helping me get there and what was missing. So this is my new goal setting template. The most obvious change is I've added a layer between goals and projects and practices, which is milestones. I always did these in my kind of writing up of the year, but I never had a database for it, which would show up elsewhere. It gives me a kind of focused level of trackable progress. I've set deadlines and I can view those deadlines, filter them to come up on my home screen when I want to know uh, where what I need to be doing next. And there it is, filtered by the next month, and I can see that the first thing I need to do is sort a staging plan for a show that I'm directing. I also want to be using this page more through the year to manage uh, the direction of my work and life. So I've set a current goals view, so I can quickly click on each one, which is also filtered by year, so I can also look historically back um, at the previous year or set start setting next year's. And if I click into it, I also created a, a goals template view, which has filtered views of the milestones, projects and practices linked to that goal. So that's pretty cool. And that's just simply made in here as a template page and it's filtered to link to the new goal so that every time you make it, whatever you change this to, these will stay related. Projects and practices in this standalone template aren't available because of course you need a wider system to link it to, but I have put instructions to do that for yourself. And if you own my current Complete Life OS, uh, I've put instructions to apply this into your existing system. Or of course, you could just wait until I bring out my 2022 updated version, which this will be a part of. I've also added views of my projects and practices, which is essentially a habit tracker. First up, it's review and reflect on the year. Now, you can of course do this at any time of the year that it suits you. And if you're starting your journey into the world of building a second brain or a life management system, this review process is a great way to focus and start that process. First, most important thing is to go through your year and write your wins and your losses out in categories. So here, for example, I have a list of my wins. That was my previous year, and this is my current year. I've set categories. And the categories are really helpful for you to be able to focus your thinking. Mine are people and relationships that I've had or spent time with, experiences that were significant, uh, actions or projects that happened. So it might have been starting a channel or, you know, making a show for me in the theatre. Knowledge, particular moments of knowledge that were all wins or learning. Uh, events and big changes in your life that were positive. Uh, things, objects and all that kind of stuff, and then health. I've also just decided to add a quick link to my Google Calendar here. So if I click on that, uh, it will take me straight to my calendar uh, so that I can use that to reflect through each week. For example, if I jump myself back to May, I've then got a view of what happened. I can go through it and use that to inform my uh, wins and losses right up. Another thing you might wanna try is setting yourself up a monthly review. So I've personally built this process into my prompted journal template with monthly and weekly reviews. You can actually download a copy of that, Stoic Journal, 
uh, via the links in the description if that is of interest. I filtered a view of that into this goal setting area so that when I start this process, I can look back over the year and look at the reviews and use them to remind myself. You also do exactly the same thing for your losses. Now, this one is a little bit more painful, but really worth doing because it helps you learn from your mistakes. Uh, all the things that didn't go well, they might not even be mistakes. And most importantly, for both of these processes, you want to list the lessons on reflection from each of these events. So for example, at times YouTube got in the way of my time with my partner. Lesson, work on more time management for YouTube when working on other freelance work and recruit some editing help. So that will then feed into my goals later on. Next up is to visualize and set goals for the coming year. I use this template button, which essentially generates this toggle. There it is. And if I click on that, you'll see I've got a kind of prompted working process, really good thing to do to help you think and guide yourself through it. I've just had another idea, which I've now added to the template, which is a quick 80-20 recap. So I could just put this little toggle in and looking at my wins, I quickly list the 20% of the wins that had the most positive impact on my life last year. And then the same, which 20% of the losses had the most detrimental impact on my life or happiness last year. That then gives you a kind of not to do list as Tim Ferriss recently called it on his podcast. Um, but also it gives you a guide to what you want to program into your calendar for this year to make sure you hit those things that really have good impact in your life. Now I used to have a button which generated all of parts one and two to review and then set goals. I've separated it this year. I wanted to have a bit more of a overview of all of my wins and losses as I'd reviewed them. And now this just generates the kind of review process for this moment, which I can then process into the system. Now I think the first question you ask yourself when setting goals for the year should be a really simple one. What's the most amazing thing that could happen this year for you? Or to take a cue from Jay Papazan and the book, The One Thing, if you could consciously script your life, what would be the one thing that mattered above everything else? Now, I think it's important to set big, ambitious goals. As long as they're believable to you, then they will still motivate you. And this is partly because I really believe we can only probably hold three key goals, maybe not even that. Firstly, you should write them as if you've already achieved them. I got this one from the book, The 10X Rule. I think it's a really great idea. If you write it in a way that you, it's happened, you're already visualizing it to be as such. Then I'm gonna write down the milestones. I would say perhaps three to five is useful. The points you wanna hit along the way, they should be specific, tangible achievements that will get you to your goal. Perhaps they have deadlines, perhaps they just are concrete things that you go, this is something I can say is done. Earlier, you notice my lesson was that I need to recruit an editor. So the first milestone is recruit remote team members to leverage my time more effectively. Speaking of tangible and achievable goals, one of mine is to grow this channel with you guys. So help me out, hit the like button, leave a comment below. Other than subscribing, it really is the best thing you can do to support the channel. Now this milestone, publish one to two videos a week, is something that's in my control. I think that's much better than saying, hit this number of subscribers, hit this number of views. Those should be the results of achieving a goal that's in your control. The final stage of that process is to then write down the obstacles that might come up for you achieving the goal and the solutions that you might put in place so that you're a little bit more prepared and you're aiming around them already. I've used these simple tables that Notion have introduced where you just have clear space to write and think in a really simple way. So a high level review and plan like this ensures the efforts that you make day by day are focused in the right direction. It's about thinking like an essentialist, as Greg McEwen would say, focusing on what matters most through your daily actions. And that's very different to just being more productive and efficient in your time. Because let's be honest, that's useless if you aren't pointing in the right direction. Sorry. So the idea here is to reverse engineer the actions that you'll actually need into a system that actually helps you. For me, again, it's Notion, but you could use pen and paper, whatever you want. So I'm gonna take all the information that I've worked into my goal setting for the year and feed it into the system. The first thing would be to put in the goals. I've done that here already. Uh, an example of how I would go about this, I would click on new, I would set the goal number, open it up, click new goal, use my template page that I created earlier, and label it. Be awesome. Awesome. Oh, it's quite 
like you. These will all be linked, as you can see, to the new goal, and you could add your own project and practices if you want to. So there it is, and then you need to add the milestones and related projects. You could just put them in here. This is where you find anything that's already there uh, and link it to it. And the same with projects. With milestones, go down to the next stage and work on all of the, putting all the milestones in, same thing, click new, add all the details. By relating it to the goal, these roll-ups will automatically show that information. Achieve. This is ridiculous. Uh, I like to add an icon. Fine, we'll take that. You can set a deadline to that. So I might say if it's Q1, I want to be doing that by the 1st of April. Uh, and that would mean that it would pop up in that previous room of view I showed you. And then the same with projects. You either link it to existing projects or um, you add new ones using the project view. And then from here, the job would be to go into one of the projects personally in the way I do things and then start to add tasks that I want to set up for the first couple of months or key things through the year. Uh, and then that means that I've actioned a process into it. Now for regular uh, things that I want to be doing, I also have a habit tracker or a practice tracker, depending on what you guys use. And to do this, my system works like this. I add a new one. I set the start date I'd like it to be. I'm going to do this for the year, so the 1st of Jan, I'm going to set an end date like that. And I want this to be a weekly event. I want to relate that to the goal. It gives me a target and it says, let's begin. Pretty cool. With my system, I just log things and then it gives me the next time I need to get it done uh, next year on the 12th of Jan. And that is in the system and you can see everything is then listed so that's the idea. List your goals, then list the milestones, then create projects that will be key multitask events in the year and create practices, regular habits that you want to keep up and track. And then I would jump into the project and add the tasks that I want to achieve. I've also added this final checklist, which I think are great ideas if you're wanting to set yourself up for the year. Create a weekly schedule to time block your month uh, to include these actions. I do it in Google Calendar, as you saw earlier. Most importantly, make sure that your system is always is reminding you of those top goals it's always present for you as you work at the bottom of my home screen I have my view of the goals filtered look there's be awesome in our little guy and any of the upcoming deadlines for milestones for those goals I have this view which I quite like a board view which allows me to see the listed milestones as well so that I'm always aware of what's linked to what let me know what you like, what you do differently. I'd love to hear from you. You should watch this video next if you want to go further with setting up your own Notion Life Management System and this for more on how to effectively build and track habits that stick. It would be awesome if you subscribed. Great if you liked the video, obviously. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye. Happy goal setting. <laughs>